welcome back this is Ankur Buddy today I'll be showing you how to remove the indicator which is broken which can be rectified as well so first you need to remove the screw and the panel once it is done you need to have a supporting spanner to remove the bolt In one side you need to hold and another from uh, 14 spawner you need to remove the net. So once it has been removed, you need to disconnect the wire, the two wires. Be careful with the wires because it will be very thin, so don't put the pressure on it. just need to pull it out it will come so that those are the two wires which has been connected so when you are removing it the same way the way you are going to remove the same way you need to fix it so this is the lubber where for the bolt which will be inside this lubber that has come out because of some reason so for which you need to remove the rubber First you need to remove the screw so that the lubber which is in between that will come out and then we will fix it. Just try it with the help of your cutting here. If it is not going you can apply some polish or something liquid and it will go inside. So once it is done. <laughs> We'll apply some very quick on it, right round. So it'll make it strong and it'll fix forever till it is there. So I will make it aside, we'll keep it aside so that it can dry it up. Now we'll remove the wires because it was hanging out, so one wire has been cut. So you have a copper inside one washer kind of in that one wire will be fixed so if you have a small screwdriver in there with that help you can uh, open that locks or else what you can do is i tried opening it in a bigger screwdriver because i was not having at that moment of time the small screwdriver so i'll just cut the wire make it u kind of and then i will twist and we'll lock it so that is the small blocks I tried with the blade as well but it was not opening So make it U type, the same position you need to just twist it and make it another round so that let it, it get strong. Okay. Now we will fix it back. Make sure the copper, what is the washer is there, it should it need to be fixed properly in a circle kind of when you are inserting it back. So as you can see it is done so now we'll take the indicator you need to fix it the same way how you have removed it before once it is done take indicator so here you have a screw which we have removed the same position you need to fix it back and then you need to fix the screw as well make sure you don't tighten up very hard because it is a plastic it may break also
once that is done so you can just fix the bulb you just need to press and turn it So now the bulb is done. So you fix the lock here because the wire, I mean the hole is very small. So you need to insert the single uh, one by one wire. Both the wires, if you are inserting together, it will not come. Let one wire get pop up, then the second wire you can insert. It. If you have anything. With that help also you can use it or else slowly if you are inserting it will come out so both the wires are out so let it let let's fix the screw the lubber and the indicator so this is the second portion of the indicator so make sure you push it hard so that the lubber get it fixed inside and then hole also you need to check then later you can just tighten up the screw When you are holding it, make sure you hold it safe because if you are giving a too much of pressure, the bulb inside can also break or you can fix the cover first and then you can try it the other hand. So the indicator is ready. So let's fix it. So you need to insert the wire then the net. Make sure you you are keeping the indicator in the proper position. The net should be the, I mean the washer side should be on the net. I mean near the bolt. So once you are done, so you have a small wire inside where you can you need to fix that wire because you don't have much space. What you can do is you can pull it from other hand other side and the same way where you are remove the wire before the same position you need to insert this wire and then you can fix it both the wires and keep in the same position where it was If you have a thin fingers, it will be the work will be more smooth. So let's check now. Both the wires are done. So let's check the indicator. So now the indicator is working, as well as the broken part also is done.